Welcome to the Too Posh Podcast. I am Gabrielle. I am a former New York Mafia princess, originally from Austria. I am the mother of three and the owner of Too Posh Boutique. And here with my beautiful co-host, Marcella, my daughter. Hello, I'm Marcella. I'm a dancer, choreographer, model, and designer for Too Posh. And I say whatever the f*** I want. Hi, my name is Cruz. I am a stylist. I also own the Society Salon in the Design District, and I am a short little Mexican with a big personality. I am Holly. <laughs> I am a certified sexual health consultant and educator, former professional dominatrix, currently working at the largest adult novelty store in the Texas Panhandle. What will they say next? Welcome to the Two Posh Podcast. <laughs> Well, welcome. This is actually kind of cool. I like this new way. I don't have to say it again. I yeah, feel I like. know. We're <laughs> just going to have to say hi to Spider, who is handling all this stuff always. I'm trying. <laughs> He's so good at it. And we are back with Jen a lot. Ooh, you got wow. it. Wow, there you go. And Taylor Cooley Hello. from Lemon Avenue Plastic Surgery Center. That's where they both are. And um, we are going to get to know all about Taylor in this episode. He is a laser technician, correct? Correct. And Taylor, tell us a little bit about your journey. Yeah. How did you end up as a laser technician? And Anna Taylor Lemon has Avenue. the best skin ever. Thank you. Glowing, <laughs> glowing. Yeah. 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 Face is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to Jen. Yeah. Um, it's kind of crazy. I actually went to school for fashion design. No way. Um, and then I kind of just got stuck in luxury retail. I was mm. worked at Roberto Cavalli for a long time. Worked for Alexander McQueen, and while it was fun, yeah, yeah, it's fun. But it, I did it for over ten years. Like it oh, just kind of took a toll on me after a while. I remember one day I was in McQueen doing retail, and it was just like. I was just staring out in Highland Park Village, like staring out the window, like, why am I here? Like, I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah. And my boyfriend, thank God for him. We've been together nine years. And I told him, I was like, I don't feel like myself. I don't want to do this anymore. And he was like, take time off, figure out what you want to do. I got you. So I kind of thought I wanted to be an esthetician. I've always loved skincare. And then a friend of mine mentioned laser technician. I was like, oh, I don't really know anything about that. So I started doing research, talked to other laser technicians from Instagram, and went to tour a laser school, and that was just kind of it. I was like, what? this is it. Wow. Yeah. That's it was super crazy. And my boss, um, Mark and Carrie Duber, our plastic surgeon at Lemon Avenue, um, Carrie texted me one day, and she was like, what the fuck? I'm in, Lim- or, I'm in Alexander McQueen, and you're not uh. here anymore. You didn't tell me. Where are you? And I was like, oh, I actually quit. I'm in laser school now. I'm like, you want to hire me? Uh. <laughs> Did you really say it? I mean, literally, I, like, stayed on her, like, weekly, like, hey, need another laser technician? Hey, can I come, like, train? Because they had a laser technician at the time, and I trained under him. But, yeah, they eventually brought me on. Wow. Nice. Well, that's a cool. How long does laser school It's so quick. No way. It's less than a month. A month straight, yeah. Wow. But that's just laser school. Then you have to take all these other courses Absolutely. and stuff to I get did, advanced. I um, did a preceptorship with our laser technician that was at Lemon Avenue. I trained under him for over a year. Um, and Jen and I both, everybody at Lemon Avenue, were always doing continued education courses. We're always traveling around learning the latest and greatest. So it but, never stops. You're, so you you're do never that done. too? Yeah. You're never done learning. And do you feel like you found your passion? I did. Set? Yes. Yeah. It's Good. so much more rewarding. Don't get me wrong. I miss the fashion. But... <laughs> It's so much more rewarding, you know, you get those patients that come back and they're like almost in tears, like, oh my gosh, you got rid of my acne or oh my mm-hmm. gosh, my face looks so much better. It's just, it's so much more rewarding than you look beautiful in that $12,000 gown. <laughs> <laughs> so did you yeah. have to go to esthetician, uh, esthetician school as well or no? I did not. Um, I could, um, but in Texas, it's a delegatory or a delegation state. So as long as my medical director delegates me to do facials, I can. Um, but we're kind of more on the medical side, right. so I really just do hydrofacials, right. but, um, I'm just a laser technician. Oh, I'll delegate you. That. Yes. Thank <laughs> <you>. <laughs> so I have questions about so many things. Like what about the hand restoration? This is like my uh, first one. I need a laser. Yes. Uh, I love it. I mean, hands kind of like 
you know, you can they give away the age. It, the it most. does <laughs> hands, necks, yes, dust, all of that. I hate it when I see somebody with like perfect skin and then they have that like line of demarcation across their jawline and then their neck and chest is all just like sun damaged and wrinkly <laughs> but same thing with hands like you don't think about it you get so much sun exposure just uh, even while driving oh, yeah. on your hands so you get sunspots they you know lose collagen lose elasticity <gasps> <I'm> like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> everybody's staring at their hands <laughs> no i need it i want it um so does it hurt no not at all with hand restoration i don't even have to numb you it's so easy it doesn't hurt Mm-mm. it helps build collagen helps build what? Strengthen your elasticity. My mom's making her appointment right, right. Yeah. I just <laughs> I got, got a new ring. I need a new hand. <laughs> I need a new hand. You know what? I never thought of that. I've had that so much recently. I've had people come in and be like, um, I just got engaged and we're going to take engagement photos. You know, I need my hands done. I'm like, yes. oh, I didn't even think of that. Uh, so what does it actually do? Like, um, It helps build collagen so it'll start to thicken the skin so that we don't see it look all bony. <laughs> and uh, then... Um, helps with pigmentation, so sunspots, all that good stuff. And then, too, your collagen will stay stimulated for a good, like, four months after that. So they'll continue looking better and better. So how many what? different lasers is there? Typically with that one, it's kind of different with each patient, depending on how much sun damage and stuff like that. But typically with that one, I use two different ones. One will help with pigmentation, and then the other one, kind of think of, like, five sheets of paper thick it knocks off that top layer of skin so it helps a lot with like the crepiness and wow. the rough texture i'm coming yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew it. What? i'll let you use the um the pronox uh-huh. the nitrous <laughs> uh-huh. we'll you lesson. said it doesn't hurt <laughs> no, it doesn't. Gonna learn. <laughs> what about um the difference from what you do and fillers for hands i've seen that too what's better so they're complementary you should do both if uh, um, be as aggressive as you can be um with, with your limitations, whether it's downtime or finances. But we can fill in the hands, you know, fat hands or young-looking hands, right? So we can add in some filler so you don't see the veins and the tendons, and then he can get rid of the spots and with the creepiness. Um, there's a lot you can do. And fillers and lasers are always, they're like BFFs. They go to, okay. Pretty much anything, you know, pair them together, you're yeah. going to get twice the results. And one thing at Lemon, we never neglect the neck, like, we always, every always. single laser treatment, they don't just treat the face. It's always neck and face, chest. Face, neck, and chest. Always. always. Everything we do is fake. face, neck, and chest. Because you never want to look young right here. <sighs> yeah. And so I stop. managed a skincare clinic slash esthetician office for um, several years. Mm. And this was in the very beginning of when lasers became popular. And I will always remember this one um patient that we had and she had some sort of laser done on her face and the discoloration was frightening it was like two different people oh from the face to the neck yes yeah. and i mean it was I, i've never gotten over that so lasers are a little frightening from mm-hmm. that is that still a thing can that still happen or we just don't stop at your jawline we yeah. keep going we rejuvenate your neck as well wow absolutely and it's just obvious it's doesn't make any sense yeah. to stop there. That's yeah. the worst thing ever. It's like it looks like people got like a chemical peel from yes. their face and up. It stayed and stayed like that forever. Yeah. <laughs> we would never do that to anybody. No. Wow. Oh, wow. So is that most is that common for most places? Or? I think it used to be, and I think that now people are, are you know, adding mm-hmm. on treatments yeah. to the neck. I think that it makes sense. Initially, yeah. I think businesses and you you think about a business and you know, who's running it? Is it a business person? Is it a medical person? Um and businesses, oh, well, it's next, so they have to pay more. But oh. that same person is walking around looking nutty right. <laughs> and saying they went to you. Right. Yes. So we don't do that. No. Yeah, but if you think about it, too, I mean, that's about as much surface as your neck and chest, your yes. face. So it's almost twice. Right. And um, now we're even getting around to doing the back of the neck. What? And the back of the head. Because your skin is all continuous, right? So, like. You're just treating here. You can get more lift if you treat it mm-hmm. back here. Whoa. I did see a lady talk about the back of her head. What? Yeah. yeah. You don't think about treating the back of your head. No. But, mm-hmm. We have know, a device gonna, right now. It's going to pull. It's radio frequency microneedling, and we can do it through the scalp. And when I do a full face with radio frequency microneedling, it tightens everything. But then if you do the scalp, you do it back here in the neck. Obviously, if you're tightening here, you're tightening up here. It affects everything. I mean, people used to tape the back of their neck, right? So why wouldn't you try to laser it? They would tape it? Like tape it back, right? Uh -uh. Like 
Wait, yeah, like the fox eye. Uh huh, like the little fox eye. Oh, oh my! Oh yeah, your God. new invention. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> you need a patent. Yeah, that, don't girl. give it away. <laughs> <laughs> What's the ultra glow laser? I'm gonna ask you about all of them. It's our newest laser at oh, Lemon it's Avenue. New. I love it because it is low downtime. It's super easy. I numb you for like 20 minutes, two to three days of redness, and it does everything under the sun. Helps with collagen, elastin, sunspots, tightening pores, brightening the skin. It does everything. And it's low downtime. I love it. Painful? Not painful. I've actually done it without numbing. (sighs) I prefer to do it with numbing. (laughs) (laughs) Is it just warm? Yeah, it feels warm and prickly. Like, it feels prickly across the skin. When you're done, you just feel like you have a really good sunburn going on. Got it. And that sunburn feeling lasts a couple hours and then you're done. It's easy. easy. Um, And you can do that. You know, you can do it three, four times a year if you want to. Skin will just keep looking better and better. It's expensive. So it's go- you build up on it? Yeah, absolutely. Your first Ultra Glow, you look good. Your second one, you're like, oh, holy crap. This is a million times better. It just uh-huh. keeps getting better and better. Um, Ultra Glow is 900. Like I said, it includes face, neck, and chest. Wow. It includes all your aftercare. You know, do that twice a year. Keep your but skin. But that's doable. Right. That's like. Absolutely. Twice a year, I mean. I mean, that's reasonable to me like that somebody can do that to feel better about themselves because the skin is a big part right you go through the summer enjoy your summer you get sunspots you know (laughs) laying out in the sun going to the beach pool all that good stuff then taylor would take them off exactly wait till the fall fall. and then come back yeah in the fall (laughs) wow what is vascular treatment um this is something that i've really started to love lately it's i've just keep getting better and better at it i was always so frustrated at first because people would come in and be like oh these broken capillaries and i didn't have the right lasers for it at the time so i was just using bbl broadband light um similar to like if you heard of a photo facial yeah something like that so it helps to shut down or collapse blood vessels and i just i couldn't get the results i want and i just started turning people away and then eventually i got this new laser it's attracted to hair and to blood so you know and go through on the nose and you know collapse those blood vessels and it's so satisfying because as soon as you hit it it's instant it's you just see the blood <gasps> just like dissipate it's yeah, so right. satisfying can you do that on your like legs and stuff? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. depending on how big the veins are on the legs yes if they're too big then you got to go get like sclerotherapy or something like that but yeah anywhere on the body if they're small enough you know like the little red dots you see on the on chest yes. and like stomachs cherry and geomas it'll yes. get rid of those right. Wow. That's crazy. You can do a lot with lasers. We treat head to toe. Wow. Or as to our boss would say, toe. hole to hole. <laughs> <laughs> Which one, Carrie or Mark? Carrie. <laughs> yeah, when I do her That's hair awesome. removal, I'm like, what are we doing? She's like, hole to hole, Taylor. I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> I was just going to ask you, laser hair removal. You do all Tell that. us about that. It's, um, that's kind of the biggest thing you learn in school. Um, it's crazy when we were in school and I was learning everything. You see how like painful it is. People would like, yeah. you know, yeah, hold, holding, you, you know, stress balls. And I'm like, oh my god, this is what I'm going to be doing to people for the rest <laughs> of my life. <laughs> like, <laughs> but we have this laser. It's called the Splendor X. It's amazing. It's not painful. It's and it's so effective. It's amazing. Um, it's really not. I've been in this industry for a long time. I've had the worst lasers, and I've had laser hair removal on every every platform, literally everything. And I was like, are you really even doing anything? Yeah. No like, way. How long does laser hair removal last? Hair removal can be permanent. Um, I do recommend coming back for maintenance treatments maybe once a year. A lot of times um, hormonal changes will trigger mm-hmm. hair growth sometimes, so it can come back a little bit, but typically it can be permanent. What about, this is just my weird thinking, mm-hmm. is is that healthy though? Or are you supposed to have hair? Is hair, I mean, hair, is it for anything or <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you if completely like kill it. Like living that's what in I the mean. jungle, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it could have been beneficial a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what hair is under anymore. My arms or no, you shave places. it. I just didn't know if you killing it like at the root. I mean, is... like your eyebrows are supposed to be for your sweat, not to hit your your eyes. Yeah, and same thing with like hair and, and your nose. Like it. Yeah, it's supposed to be for inhaling. From, yeah. Sex violence. Yeah, like some hair. Well, I, mean, I don't think but... the hair under your arms is beneficial for anything. Yeah, I don't think it does anything. <laughs> <laughs> Forever clear acne laser. Um, so that is with our BBL broadband light. Um, 
that's one I definitely recommend coming in for a consultation. It's not for everybody, but it can help to kill P. acne bacteria. And we have a lot of things that, I mean, almost any of our lasers will help kill acne. Mm. Um, hydrofacial, Jen does a lot of stuff with acne as well. Like what? Talk a little bit more about that because I know a lot of people have real issues Absolutely. with acne. So that's kind of one of the biggest things that you'll make a change in somebody. Like that's a lot of times when I, if anybody cries in my chair, it's because I got rid of their acne. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and it's not just the acne; it's it's the acne infection, the, the mm-hmm. post-inflammatory pigmentation, it's the scarring afterwards. Right. So um, what do you guys tell? Pretend you have a. I don't know, 20 year old woman come in and she's suffering, has suffered through her teenage years, has never gotten control of it. How do you start? What do you do? First thing I'm going to ask what she's using at home. So we'll get her on good skincare. Um, and then depending on her skin type, depending on the severity of her acne, the forever clear BBL is a great treatment. Um, not painful. All I do is put some ultrasound gel on you and then you're just going to feel like a bright flash of light. And a little zinc. Uh, it's super it's easy. It's not painful. No. So even like young teenagers could come do it. Absolutely. And then send them home. Send them home with good skincare. And that's something they can do every two weeks. And it'll just keep killing that P. acne bacteria and keep it going away more and more. A lot of times it's a process. I've had some people come back, you know, after one treatment. And they're like, holy crap, my skin's clear. Oh, wow. Some people, you know, we try something. It doesn't work. Got to move on to something else. Sometimes maybe I'll send them over to Jen. But everybody's a little different. But acne is... I mean, it's hard to get rid of sometimes, and it it takes a toll on people. It takes a toll on people's confidence. Oh, it's I, I had a my son suffered from it. Masala mm-hmm. had it too, but my son had it worse. And we I took him to a dermatologist, and I was so scared. You know, he went on Accutane, mm-hmm. but the this is something you could maybe use. I I as a mother, he told me it can completely depend on how he grows up how he his path continues like as a tree look at it as a tree like he can grow as a tree and become this amazing person but if he's kept down and so upset about his acne he, the tree could grow like almost sideways never become what it's supposed to become was so i was sad right. he so was like looking under- at the floor all the time it was just awful i was so sad but oh. i mean and it's true and i did it because i was like i this is worse right. than anything else and he got rid of it and it's I mean, it's true. He grew up to be an amazing young man, but it's it's, really something that you need to do to help people. It's crazy that something like acne can, like you said, make you grow in a different direction and get down on yourself. And you choose a different path because you're so insecure about yourself Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because of just pimples. (laughs) It's crazy. But I feel most people that have acne get it like during their pubescent age where they're kind of developing their character and their personality right. and then they have right. this hormones. and their confidence and yes. hormones. So and they're going to school you know, with people who are mean. Yeah, right. so that's a, that's a lot. Media. And then definitely. And that's nowadays with social media, I mean, back when I was in school, there wasn't even such a thing. <laughs> and it was still hard, you know, yeah. so I can imagine. Right. Yeah, no like we didn't have filters back then. Yeah. No, I, know. <laughs> and I remember when I would just have that one pimple, that big old pimple right in the front you know and <laughs> fuck i have to go to the school dance you know? and i just had like clearacell back then and, you know i just oh had to cover God. it up you know mom can i borrow some concealer right. <laughs> yeah i mean nowadays though i mean they have so much more with technology yeah. like you no, know there's it's, so many it's, options yeah. and and back to all the options, like we don't mess around with acne. If it's something we can't take care of, we've got a network of dermatologists we send you to. We get you on on medications that can that can help, and then we come back and we get your skin right. Right. And see, that's gonna, what's so great. We're not so going to sell you a bunch of crap that isn't going to work because, as anyone with acne knows, you try something, you've tried so many things, mm-hmm. and there's so many things Nothing that don't work works, for you. Yeah. So we don't we don't mess around with it. I used to put toothpaste on it. <laughs> Please don't. Do I that. remember that. Yeah. So you're like, yeah, it'll dry it right, right. out. Right. <laughs> just at school all day with a piece of toothpaste. <laughs> Does somebody smell like mint in there? Yeah, what is that? Just, Please don't do that. <laughs> wow. No, that I think that that's something. Honestly, I would not know even today. So I think this is very, very, very interesting and informative, and for people to know that well, if they have a problem. To come to you and you guys guide them in the right direction if right. you can fix it. That's crazy what lasers and yeah. everything we can do at the office. But yeah, if we if we genuinely feel like, you know, 
you're we're not the right provider for you like we're gonna try and find somebody for you for scarring what is that because that was mine because like, i had to get on accutane and then mm-hmm. mine was the scarring but my question with that is i've heard like because i have olive skin tone they're like well you can't do laser and then you're kind of like well no i don't know what to do <laughs> and i used to tell people i'm like how is it my skin tone is the most impossible to, treat. to like right. treat so i wonder now with because i've never even heard of all of these things like so what would you recommend for someone who has not just like pale skin or whatever the skin, I don't even know yeah, what yeah, you call it. Yeah. But um, for scarring. I think that's a big thing, especially in darker skin tone patients. They are always told, stay away from lasers. Yeah. You can't do it. Not true. Stay away from certain types of lasers. You have right. to know what you're doing. Um, things like the Ultra Glow, the Halo, those are great for all skin tones, all skin types. Oh, okay. Um, BBL, the Forever Clear BBL, no. I would. You know. You got to be like as pale as me. Like, why is that? <laughs> I thought um, you were pointing to me. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be as pale as me. <laughs> um, it's um, depending on the melanocytes in your skin. So your melanocytes put out your pigment. The BBL is very superficial. So that's where all your melanocytes lie in your skin. Oh. If you're hitting those, you're targeting them and you can potentially burn the skin or kill the melanocytes in your skin. So somebody who is, you know, um, Native American, black, um, you know, somebody in a darker skin tone patient, their melanocytes are much more active than mine and Jen's. I see. You know, so they can be more reactive and they're easier to kill or burn or, um, you know, you can just have more complications. This isn't a bad thing, too. Like, your your fibroblasts are more active, too, in darker skin types. So you have more collagen. You're not going to be old and crepey Mm. like the... Like us. Like us. <laughs> <laughs> don't crack. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> it's a blessing and a curse to have mm. such oily right. skin. <laughs> I know, right? Just go to the right provider who knows what they're doing. It's crazy. Sometimes we get patients that come in and somebody did use a BBL on, you know, a I darker mean. skin tone mm. patient. And then it's something that you, they come see me and then I have to try and correct it. It's just go to the right provider. Go to somebody who knows what they're doing. Taylor. What is the no peel peel? Okay, so this is, and I get in trouble from the company all the time on Instagram calling it a peel. <laughs> They're like, stop calling it a peel. I'm like, oh, well, I call it the no peel peel. Um, <laughs> no peel peel. So peel. it's this new treatment called WICO, and it is. Oh, w- it's the same thing. Yeah, W I Q O. Uh huh. Um, so I've been calling it the no peel peel because it is a chemical peel because it has. Um, it's made up of a TCA, so an acid, but you don't peel with it because they've bonded the TCA with H2O2, so hydrogen peroxide, and it keeps that skin barrier safe so you don't actually peel. It's crazy, though, that the TCA amount in it is like 33%. Ooh. Typically, you would have to be like uh, sedated under, yeah. Yeah, for that. It's insane. Normally, a TCA is like 8%, yeah, right? And this one's 33 so but does that hurt? It does not hurt. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it has to, right? No, not at all. That's the best part about it. It's, you do four sessions. It takes all of 20 minutes to put it on and then wash it off. And then, I mean, it might feel a little spicy every once in a while, but it doesn't hurt at all. It's amazing. You immediate, It's instant results. You feel nice and glowy and hydrated when you leave. And then over the next four treatments, it helps with the laxity of your skin, so it helps to tighten a lot. Wow. Taylor, I'm so overwhelmed. I have seven <laughs> lasers I need to use right now <laughs> to use. It's like, can I take up your whole day? Or... <laughs> oh, my God. We're all making appointments. Yeah. <laughs> no, really? this is crazy. Appointments nine to five. <laughs> yes. All day long. Yeah. Now, are you um, as booked as her? Like, are you booking out? I mean, I guess I'm jumping ahead, but are you? Right He's in, hard to get into. I bet. Right now. I can't in even the... get an appointment. <laughs> In the summertime, I'm not as booked just because a lot of people don't do lasers in the summer. And I'll typically tell people, wait until the fall. Um, But yeah, getting into the fall time. So good luck. Yeah, Start booking (laughs) now. now. Book now. now. (laughs) Winter and fall is laser season. So So tell us about the FemTouch vaginal rejuvenation. So this is um, a CO2 laser, a vaginal rejuvenation laser. Do you do that? Um, I can do it. I'm trained on it, but our other laser technician, Teresa, she does it. Typically, girls want another girl doing their That's treatment. That's why so. I asked. I was like, I'm not coming to you I for can. that. I so can. Elaborate a little bit on, on this yeah. laser. So this laser is inserted into the vaginal canal, 
when it's fired, it triggers collagen production. So it helps with, um, helps with dryness. Um, as you build collagen throughout the vaginal canal, it will help with tightening. And then also as that urethra runs across the top of the vaginal canal, we build collagen there. It actually puts more pressure on it. So it can, it's off label, but it can help with stress incontinence. So yeah, if you pee your pants. Exactly. You laugh or you sneeze or you're jumping up and down and little pee comes out. It's yeah. normal. It happens to everybody. Yeah. But there are things that you can do. Doesn't and then we hurt. pair it with Emcella. Absolutely. We pair it with what? Emcella. It's a um, it's a device. It's basically a chair. You sit on it and it contracts your pelvic floor muscle. Oh, it's like and Kegels. Shrink- exactly. So you in one 30 minute Whoa. session you do twenty thousand <laughs> Kegels. Wow. So you're strengthening Dang. that pelvic floor muscle. So doing that and them touch. You know, I tell time. everyone to do Kegels while they're driving, but that's right. like way better. Right. <laughs> We're very productive during our breaks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does that hurt? No, not at all. I can't. Most people don't even feel it. I think probably the <laughs> like most it. uncomfortable part is actually inserting the laser, but it's so easy. Is you don't big? even feel it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> His voice gets all deep and low. Is it big? Is it big? <laughs> It's average. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's all relatively speaking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it depends on what you think is big. <laughs> Tell us about your hydrofacials. Um, I love a good hydrofacial. Everybody needs a hydrofacial. Everybody can benefit from it. Um, it helps with exfoliating, getting all the dead skin off your face. Um, it can help with acne. It can just help, you know. Um, rehydrate the skin, give you this nice, beautiful glow. Like if you're going um, going on a vacation or right before your wedding, you want your makeup to go on super smooth. It, I mean, it's great for everybody. Or if you just need a relaxing treatment, need to feel better about yourself. Yeah. Hydrofacial. So hydrofacial, that's the one that kind of sucks everything from your pores, yeah, it's, right? It's yeah. so satisfying. So, it. <laughs> um, yeah, it sucks out all the blackheads, sucks out that pee acne bacteria, sucks up all the dead skin cells. And then the best part at the very end, you can look you in the see container. All that junk. Yeah. It saves everything Whoa. in a container and you can look at it. Yeah. My go to like, treatment. That was like... in my face. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh God. Like before any vacation or mm-hmm. photo shoot or anything, I do a hydrofacial and dermal planning. I'm, yep. I look at both of them, their face like baby Glowy. spots. Like, that's what I think both of, of when I see it. It's craziness. Like that feels good skin. considering how much tequila I had last night. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Both of your, your skin. It's is like a baby's amazing. cut. It's amazing. Yeah. M sculpt. M sculpts. It's more muscle, tighter glutes, fat loss in your butt, biceps, triceps. We're everywhere. Everything. Like I said, we treat hole to hole. I, <laughs> um, I mean, for so real. M sculpt is the same company as M Cella. So it's the same um, uh, high intensity uh, um, electromagnetic technology. So whereas the M Cella contracts the pelvic floor muscle, you can use M sculpt. You can use it on your abs, glutes, arms, and calves. We also do thighs. It's off label, but. Um, basically, it contracts the muscle and helps build the muscle. So, how fast? So, are these like little pads that you put on, and then it the, just kind of contracts it. Exactly. So, the M sculpt is one paddle. You put it over your abs, and then within thirty minutes, you get twenty thousand contractions. So, it's like twenty thousand crunches, crunches, twenty thousand sit-ups. You and you're sore. Difference. Oh, you're sore. Yeah, it will. You won't be as sore as you would typically think. It has a little setting that taps out the lactic acid out of your muscles. Wow. Um, but yeah, you feel it the next day. You feel nice and tight, but it feels. It feels good. You yeah. Like, when do you like, see a badass difference? workout? Typically, after four treatments, I'll tell people um, or tell patients wait six to eight weeks for those results to really start setting in. Give you time for your muscles to rebuild, repair, um, increase your metabolism. So you will burn fat with it. It's an expensive treatment. So I tell people. If your main goal is fat loss, maybe look at something else. But if you want to build muscle, you want a little bit of ab definition, you want to increase your core strength, um, it's an amazing treatment. This is another one that we do, like, right before we go to the beach. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Because it's going to build your muscle, but if you have fat over that muscle, then you're not going to be able to see it. So Right. So, yeah, I always tell people it goes about two inches deep into the skin. So if you feel like you have more than two inches of fat, you know, it's not going to penetrate or grab that muscle as easily yeah, which I is always like that a, has to be like a big like just so you know exactly like you're not it, gonna get it, instant abs it can be an awkward conversation it, sometimes yeah but I, i'll that. use myself as an example and like see 
I <laughs> I'm not really a good candidate. Take a look at this. Look at me, then look at you. Like figure it out. Like, but it's it's four thousand dollars for a package of four treatments. It's wow. it's an expensive treatment. Oh. So I will tell I'm, you know same it's thing like investment. what we were talking about with Jen. You don't want to waste your patient's money if I don't think you're, I'm going to get you good results. I don't we want, want you to good spend results. that money. Yeah. With wow, every, every that is treatment. expensive. It's if so you, Jen, tell us again. You do a hydrofacial before an event. You do a hydrofacial. So oh, they, the, they take they, a little blade the, and they get mm-hmm. they get off all the dead skin and all the yes. hair. That little that vellus layer of yes. peach fuzz. I love Your that. Your makeup goes on there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, hypopig- <laughs> hypopigmentation. She's from Europe. We uh. remind everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the English is her second language. <laughs> Sometimes. How many times a day do you say that? <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Like a board that said she's they from make so much fun of me. You, you need to do a, even know. a gen post with a sign. Uh, yeah, she's, she's from Europe. Europe. Uh, it can go for so many things with her, also. It fits Truth. for a lot of things. Um, this is probably the number one thing that I treat hyperpigmentation. Really? Yeah, what um, is that? It, I mean, it can be caused from anything. So, basically, if you Similar to after acne, you know, mm-hmm. somebody's picking at their pimples mm-hmm. and you get that scarring. Your any trauma to the skin, your immune system wakes up and you start putting out more pigment. So, yeah. you know, you pick at a pimple and you're left with that little dark spot afterwards after it's gone. It's hyperpigmentation. Wow. Um, similar um melasma, what they call like the pregnancy mask. Um, you'll see mm-hmm. that those women, it's um very common in Hispanic women. Yes. Um, you know, it looks like they just have like a dark mask across their cheeks or across their forehead, or a lot of times mm-hmm. it even looks like they have a little mustache because yeah. it's pigment coming up. Those are the number one things I treat. Just oh. kind of depends on the what the hyperpigmentation was caused from and you know, the patient's skin type, but pretty much any of our lasers I can use on that. Or I'll use multiple lasers. That has to be very rewarding yes. too, I would think. It's hard to get rid of sometimes, especially melasma. So when you finally get that patient coming back, even if it's after their fourth, fifth treatment, it it feels great because you, yeah. s- you see it in you their see. skin. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. There's so many different treatments. Like I had no idea, and I bet a lot of people don't know I about had all no these treatments. Idea. Right. I thought there was one laser. That people were like, don't do because you have all the scam. I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll like, screw lasers. Yeah. And I bet these Basically, lasers are like yeah. expensive too. Oh, yeah. But like it's $100,000 like, lasers. Yeah. yeah. But like what she's saying, that's what I, that's why I asked her that question first. Like I have always, I wouldn't even think about a laser because of that lady that I saw come in and I was horrified. I was like, oh, I can't ever do that. Right, yeah, exactly. And that sucks. You see people that walk around in that, or you see horror stories online, and you're like, yes. oh, nope, screw lasers. Yeah. Or even a lot of times, you know, if Carrie or Jen are treating somebody, and they're like, you need to you need to get rid of this pigment or the sun damage, like, let's do lasers. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 I don't want to do lasers. Like, you know, I've heard horror stories or people getting burned. Or, yeah, you know. right. That's why That's why, that's why you it's here. so good yeah. you're on, because yes. I seriously have been so, to be honest, I'm one of those people that's like, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, same. Yeah. Though, same. That's lasers yeah. have also come a long way I'm in sure. years. Um, yeah. and then just go to a good provider. Yeah, uh, Taylor, <laughs> come to me. <laughs> um, Halo laser. Mm-hmm. My favorite. It's uh, your favorite? favorite. Why? Yes. So kind of like what I told you about the Ultra Glow. It does everything. Halo does everything, but on a much greater scale. So you're gonna have more downtime with it. Um, I typically tell patients five to seven days of redness. You're probably going to be a little swollen. You're going to have a nice little sandpapery rough texture to your skin. It's worth it. I wow. get that hurts then. It. No, well, this one I will numb you for about an hour. Wow. Um, you don't really feel it. It feels prickly, but afterwards you feel like you have a really good sunburn going on. Is that what I saw, Carrie? Really swollen with. Oh my god, there's so many things I've done to carry out. <laughs> <laughs> we also combine lasers. Um, oh, I don't think I can do that swelling. That so the halo is the one where you have like look like blood. Or that's the vampire. It facial. looks like oh someone, that you you ate yourself. Yeah, like you're, you're that's, yes, that's it. Yeah, yeah. So with Shake Carrie, that we once, paired halo. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who what? The hell what? Did she did that. She came and I was like, what the hell happened? She was <laughs> Which like, one? Oh, bloody. Oh, oh that's, uh, that's my I, I did know, that. Patrick nah. almost Patrick almost fainted last time. <laughs> what, what happened? Like, yeah, he was prepare like, prepare me for this. What? Patrick did the same thing. He was like, 
oh my god what happened to you <laughs> <laughs> he thought i was attacked in the parking lot like, i'm beat up it's really fun to scare your kids uh, and yeah. get line. it's halloween soon <laughs> yes okay. Yeah. That's the last time we did it to Carrie. It was right before Halloween, oh, no and way. she was super swollen and bloody. And I was like, "Perfect." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't have to pay that for the costume. That was Halo. That was Halo, and then we combined it with radio frequency microneedling, which that's what's really caused the caused the swelling. Oh. So, little combo treatment. So, when what you is... do it separately, does it cause that much swelling too? Or no, no. Halo, no. you'll be a little swollen, but it's typically only swelling that you're going to notice. Oh, okay. Nobody else is really going to notice. Oh, and these are things you do once a year. You right. do a big thing once a year. You keep your collagen up, and it's not something you do every six weeks or anything. Do a little like maintenance that. in between. Yeah, I always tell people do something every four-ish months to stimulate collagen. If you're stimulating collagen year-round, your skin's going to keep looking better and better as you get older. Wow. You do, you know, something with Jen. That's a collagen stimulator. You do radio frequency microneedling. If you do laser, you can do microneedling with Stephanie. Like, there's so many things that you can do. And you don't have to be swollen and bloody each time. You have to wear your sunscreen and you have to use your retinol. Yes. Is there anything that's like too late? Like if somebody is much yeah. older. <laughs> What's too late? Probably the only time I come across that is with skin laxity. So if somebody comes in and they're like, I want to do something for tightening. And, you know, it's, it's just too far gone. I'm like, got to go see Dr. Duber. Because he'll pull it. Yep. Get that facelift. Yeah. Uh, okay. But we have that option, too. I don't know that it's right. ever too late. There's but, always something we can do. But there's, we draw a line of like, hey, this is going to be real expensive if you try to do this non-surgically. Let's just be really effective with our treatment options and let's look at a surgical intervention. Right. Um, and we, we try to help you make that decision. What's going to be the best thing for you? Because you're not just stranded out there. You're not, it's not like a med spa where all they have is Botox. So they're going to tell you, you need Botox. Right. Oh, because <laughs> oh, you're at so, the plastic surgery center. Right. I have a question about collagen. Um, it's kind of like a, I don't know, I, want, I don't want to call it a fad, but I feel that eating collagen, mm. how do y'all feel about that? Because that's all new to me. We talked about this recently. Yeah, there's been some good evidence out there that it does help um, with maintaining good skin integrity. Um, so I, I would go for it. I, yeah. you know, I, before I read these studies, I was like, eh, I mean, why not? It's kind of like Arnica. Sure. <laughs> but there are some, there's some pretty good, um, systemic reviews that, that shows that show improvement. So why not? It's something you can take. Uh, you are what you eat, right? So, exactly. um, and it's not expensive. It's not going to have a, a bunch of risks. So of course, take it. We were kind of talking about that because I was like, I don't, you, you can't ingest collagen. Like, no, that's stupid. That, there's no way. I but I don't think you can. Yeah, for people put it in their smoothies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I don't think it works for people who could get, who have or had cystic acne. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's going to be a prevention method. Yeah. It's not going to be a major correction method. Is it? Is it a great adjuvant to, to other things that you're doing? Sure. Yeah. Um, But it's, I wouldn't say it's better than, than, other treatments that are out there especially if you have an issue a corrective issue yeah and two i think the studies that came out it's basically saying like it's something you would have to do daily to really see results from it yeah right. it's like going to the gym right <clears throat> Ugh. Yeah. daily who goes yeah, to the right. gym anymore i mean you have <laughs> we have uh, M-Skull. M-Skull. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly what are koji pads oh my gosh my so favorite the best one of our newest um, skincare formulations. We have our own skincare line, Lemon Avenue Plastic Surgery Skincare. Yes, thank and this you is for all of the products yeah, that you brought over guys. here. We Some appreciate that. That's good stuff. Um, our Koji pads are our newest thing. I love it. Uh, typically with an acneic patient, I'll put them on Koji pads. But it's kind of one of those things that does everything. It exfoliates. It helps with acne. It helps tighten pores. It helps brightening. It has kojic acid in it. So that helps with breaking up pigmentation. And so, a little bit of salicylic acid, I think. And salicylic acid, which will help kill acne. Oh, wow. So take one of those once a day, scrub your face with it, and you're good. And what's great about it is it's there's no preservatives in it. So you, we mix it there at the office, or we show you how to mix it. So you have, you have I think, two months, two months to, use, to it, use it. And that's it. And after that, it's not as effective, but there's no preservatives. There's no, like, uh, filler shit. Fires. Oh, yeah. yeah, and our... 
Um, we're looking at a vitamin C that has that in it that you can only use for a month, but it's like pure. Wow. Yeah. It's brutal, man. Yeah. Brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Splendor X for vascular treatment. Yes, that's the one I was telling you about. Um, will Could shut down, um, shut down broken capillaries. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, that's fine. Oh, I love that. That's the one that's really <laughs> what satisfying. What is PIQ04? Our Pico. Um, Pico laser is something that I will typically add on to halos. I'll add them onto our ultra glow treatments. It is a um pigment laser, so it helps a lot with pigmentation. Um, our main use with it is tattoo removal. Do you do that too? We do tattoo removal. Wow. Yeah, we do it all. Um, <laughs> That's amazing. That's so crazy. The Pico, it's a little different. It doesn't use heat. It actually uses sound to break up pigmentation. So the sound will go in and actually shatter apart the ink molecules in the tattoo. And then as you break down those ink molecules more and more, then they'll just go through the lymphatic system and that's how it gets rid of them. So I guess that would be less scarring then. Does yeah. it make it not as... Does it still hurt? Oh my God, it hurts like a bitch. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, it's so painful. We but do some field blocks so we, we, do... can, we can numb you with lidocaine beforehand um, and you don't feel it. With but that, it, you won't feel it. Typically, it, yeah. it hurts. That's my question bad. to everything. Yeah. 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 I've asked that a lot. <laughs> I think the answer is always going to be yes, yes. <laughs> but well, there's things we can do. Wow. You just want to use the nitrous more. Yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, tattoo removal. Hurt. Yeah. Profound laser. So profound is the one that we um same one added um we added onto our halo with Carrie. Oh, so that one's radio frequency that... microneedling. Oh, what is that? Um, so this one helps a lot with it can help with scarring. It can help um with laxity in the skin so that's if somebody comes in and they have you know get jolly or you know they need tightening that's typically our go-to so that's a more intense treatment typically have to have a little sedation um oh, nerve blocks oh wow. shit. yeah we do all like... that in office we have two plastic surgeons in office i'm always there mm -hmm. we'll just make you feel like you had a good like two bottles of wine you feel good <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow taylor what else I do you know. want to tell us? Oh I mean, what that was else? like 147 lasers. <laughs> right. I mean, wow. I think you need to talk about the all. still firm microneedling. So, so this is our newest radio frequency microneedling. And it's interesting because it's not as invasive as the profound. It works on like the epidermal junction, mm -hmm. the the layer. So the, the really superficial layer between your dermis and your epidermis. And it can get right up under the eyes. You can do it right over the eyelid. Yeah, that's insane. It's the craziest thing. So this is radio frequency microneedling. Helps with tightening. Um, it can help with acne. It can kind of like almost all, all of our lasers do anything. He's but he's using it on body now. Like I've done it on like stomachs. One of my patients, I did it on her stomach. I did one treatment, and she showed me her stomach and sent me a picture the next day. And she was like, "Um, I look like a twenty year old. What the hell?" Like, put me back on your schedule for next month. <laughs> what did it look like before? Um, it Just like, you know, on your stomach when you get that crepiness or, you know, after you have a baby or, yeah. you know, uh, too much sun exposure, you kind of get that little sagginess. It tightens up. Does this hurt? This one does not hurt. No. It's not that bad. This one, I can numb you for a little bit. I've done it without numbing. It's not bad at all. And the best part about it is maybe mild swelling for a day or two, a what? little bit of redness for a day or two. That's it. It's amazing. And it's not something that, you know... It's safe for all skin types. Not something that you don't have to have sun exposure for. It's, wow. It's the best. Hot girl summer. Yes. Well, especially after having a baby, I feel like for a lot of women, it's like instead of this tummy tuck, you can just go get some. Right. You know, you know and that's what's so great. Yeah. yeah. If somebody is, you know, too far gone and I'm like, I can't I contract do. the skin that much. Yeah. You know, go see or Dr. Or if Deeper. you want to have another baby. Like you don't want to have a tummy tuck in between kids like, right. oh, that's not a right. good idea so you want to do something in between it's, this is a great option yep. we've got a few options like we can pair it with injectable like hyperdilate radius and then do microneedling on top of it and it looks phenomenal that's oh, awesome that is so awesome tell us where people can find you how they can get in touch with you and all your social media handles um i am laser tech taylor on instagram um, TaylorCooley.com, Lemon Avenue Plastic Surgery.com, um, or call our front desk. We have an amazing team that will get you scheduled right then and there. Absolutely, they do. That is awesome. Let's go to our segment. Uh -huh. <laughs> Question of the day. Taylor. 
The Two Posh Girls Ask the Question of the Day. Do you think someone who made a drunken mistake and cheated once but owned up to it and clearly feels horrible is worth forgiving? Huh. Silence. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so they only cheated once. I mean, I guess only. that just depends on each other, you know? What? I know her answer is going to be no. I have done it, so I don't. I mean, I've forgiven, not just that I have forgiven <laughs> that, that before. The gossip. I don't know. I have forgiven that before. I, I have forgiven and been forgived. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, I don't know. I feel it just kind of depends on your relationship, your relationship and how much you want to be together or not. It does relationships it happen, work happen. out, guys? No. <laughs> <laughs> But you learn from it. What do you yeah. learn from it? You, you learn not what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I've always stood by this, and I don't know if it would change if it actually happened, but I've always said if somebody cheats on me, I will never give them the chance to do it again. Same. I feel like, Taylor, yes! <laughs> <laughs> this is my answer. I feel, like, I feel like it would be more so for myself because, you know, Two or three years down the road, you know, if you're still going good and they're like, hey, no, I got to stay at work later. Hey, like in my own head, I feel like it's just going to be so unhealthy for me because in my own head, I'm going to be like, what if, what if, what if? Nonstop. Yeah. I I feel like I say that because I want to do that for myself. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to give you the chance to shoot on me again because it's going to more so take a toll on me. Yeah. Your anxiety. Right. Same. I mean, we would all love to say that but it really depends I guess on situational and I mean emotions are so hard to control and I mean love is a very strong emotion you know exactly so. and that's why I say that I've always said that but you know I'm in a nine year relationship <laughs> and if that ever happened you know do I throw that nine years out the door just cause right. you know years. one slip I'm up, in a but... 21 year relationship and if it <laughs> happened I would leave would you? Mm-hmm. She I would but too. You I know. say that and no. it's easy oh. to say, right? No, now. she would. I've seen it's not easy. That would not be easy at all. That would the heart be the hardest thing, but I still would do it because I couldn't I would like he says, I wouldn't want to live that way because I couldn't that trust trust completely. Trust like, is and, everything. And to me that's everything and I I could I could not do it for like right. says for me, like so, you don't ever feel that there's a way to, uh, for someone to regain trust. Maybe I mean, she does not. I, know. <laughs> I mean, when I know you so when well. you break that trust, though, like I, I, I wouldn't honestly, I wouldn't care to stay around for it. Yeah, it just, I just wouldn't. It's not worth it. How do you rebuild that trust? It's like. The yeah, only way to do it is to not cheat. Like, and you're that's not the only way to... that drunk. I'm sorry. I've no, been that's, wasted that's a, before. A and I'm total not, excuse. I always say this. What do you say? Thank you. Excuse. What do you say? It, that's a total excuse. Yeah. yeah it's, like, it's that that's a, I like, I've never fallen on a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Give us some time. I feel it's like you just let your inhibitions go more when you're drunk. Like, you know, you know, you're just like, fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> and that's that would be my problem. Like, the cheating and feeling bad about it. I could go either way with that, but uh, use it, saying you got drunk and using that as an excuse, that's just a lot of problems in the future. Just own up to it. You were just horny. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Jen, what do you think? I mean, that's a hard question to answer. I think it plays a toll. Like, it takes a toll on trust for sure, but I think it's possible to to forgive, right? But it's situational for sure. The only way I've seen it work is literally oh, yeah, if the other one cheats too. If the other one cheats too, and then and then it works. Yeah. <laughs> like and what? Then, like they're given a chance. Like okay, fine, you can like you get one. like a it's ticket. It's not like that. It's <laughs> just kind of like yeah. I've seen like one person then leave, and then they also. But that's not someone cheating, else. though, right? And it's like no, it's just like they had someone else as well, and then. Over time, they found each other again, and then they actually said, we're never going to do that to each other again. Mm-hmm. But it was almost like an even 
not that they cheated, cheated, in, but it was almost an even, even score. Yeah, <laughs> I think only one cheated in that because if you broke up and of then you course. met someone else, no, it's right. not cheating anymore. It isn't right? cheating anymore, but it's still, it's kind of like a I mean, I get different. what you're saying. So that's the only, I mean, I know several couples where that happened that way and they actually had conversations where they said, before I ever would want to cheat again, I would just break up because that's not, this is just too damaging. No. I think it's a young person thing. I, and no, I may be wrong, but like you get to know yourself and know your limitations. And, oh, I'm not going to put myself in that situation. and I'm not going to do that because I, because I value this relationship. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying that cheaters don't value their relationship, but. I, I think that you can learn. I don't think they value it enough. There's a lot of grown ass men that cheat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is very true. But that's, that is yeah, true that's too. the thing. Don't put yourself in that situation. Yeah. You're like, oh my God, this is tempting. Like, nope, I just need to go. I always am like, don't you feel bad? Right. Like, you then come home and like, you can actually like look at me and lay next to me. That was always the weirdest thing to me. I'm like, you don't feel bad? I would not be able to sleep. Yeah. Like, I'd be sick. I feel like I I wouldn't even be able to enjoy it. No, it's so weird, but I don't know. I'm not a cheater. That's why. (laughs) I feel the way I do (laughs) because I feel like that it takes, if you It's definitely bad. Bad. (laughs) It's definitely (laughs) bad. (laughs) Don't cheat. Don't cheat. We're agreeing. Um, We can all agree on that. What are we, uh, Miss Polly, sorry. Party with Miss Polly, please. (laughs) Ooh. It's time to party with Miss Polly. Our poor Miss Polly has a migraine and is not with us. So Marcella is standing I'm your sex for... therapist today. <laughs> we always Favorite love topic. That. <laughs> uh, sex fantasies becoming a plate. It's not only what women fantasize, but also guys. They want foods such as whipped cream, chocolate sauce, or ice cream to get licked from different parts of their bodies. This foreplay session can end up in a highly satisfying, up in highly satisfying sex. Messy. <laughs> you like to get things licked off of you. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been a plate before? <laughs> um, a plate? Was your plate? <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure. I, I can, yeah. I've had stuff eaten off of me. I've eaten stuff off of, yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sushi kind of too. Like a dessert sushi. plate, like a sushi, sushi plate. I've had sushi like literally like like sushi off a girl in a restaurant. Yeah, the like that, naked girl. Had a... yep. Oh. But I have also had chocolate and you know whipped cream and stuff. Yeah, Spider, I saw you freaking say. out back there. Uh, I'll do the licking, but I don't want to be. Oh, you I don't, don't want, want food on me or to be licked like that. You'll put the whipped cream like where yeah, I yeah. want. <laughs> yeah, what is that bottle of Ready Whip back there? <laughs> That's for whippets. <laughs> oh, shit. <That> nitrous socks. <laughs> Do you guys, does anybody over here like it? <laughs> it's never been a fantasy of mine. No. Mm-mm. So you've never done it? No. No one here has ever done never it. Done it. You've never done it. No one here has ever played. from doing it. Yeah. That, the it stickiness does. or yeah. something. I'd, I'd rather like, just oh. eat a hot fudge sundae and be yeah. good. <laughs> the sheets are too expensive for that. Right. I know. <laughs> so no one here has ever eaten or mm-hmm. gotten something eaten off of them. You know what wow. these I am sell? so wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You I'm know the what? only one. Or at least the only one that's admitting it. <laughs> <laughs> I would admit it. I would admit it too. I just don't think I have because I feel like it'd be sticky as like what I would be like. Oh. Yeah, well, you just change the sheets. I mean, change it's the sheets. so much more. You should change the sheets often anyway. I do, but... <laughs> just do it on a laundry day. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I have. Like so I, much work. I layer mine. Maybe I have like five hair. sheets, and I just oh! <laughs> no, literally. I'm not even joking. I just take it off and no way. I, yep, I have like five sheets, and I just I layer them. I think I think about my hair, like sticky. Wash it. I mean, I don't need chocolate in my lashes. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh my all, all, although, I mean, 
you know, the chocolate, it has a lot of sugar and the whipped cream has a lot You're of sugar. You're working it off. <laughs> Maybe queso. Oh. Queso. I love queso. <laughs> queso and frozen margaritas. Yes. Maybe. Yeah. I'll leave that off. Yeah. Queso with the tequila on the belly button. There, okay. Oh. There this is, all right. This is suddenly sounding like a fantasy. <laughs> I'm going to go home to his Stay boyfriend home. and be like, yeah. I bought us some Hold these queso. chips. <laughs> Bust out the Velveeta, babe. <laughs> right. It's going to be a wild night. I'm going to be busy. <laughs> That's funny. All right. What are we, are we doing gossip? Or we not? don't have any gossip. Yeah, I think I think um, I, I say again. that we should wait for at least give it, um, you know, because we gave it at least give it one whole full day. I think. It's Chris been like a half a day. State it too. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Good job. I agree. <laughs> Good and, job. and I mean, yes. when I thought of this, I was like, "Oh my god, this is so good!" And it was so fun when yes. when we did it with Ashley. It was so fun without she, any thought. Yeah, and she even came today to get her hair done. She's like, "Oh my god, it was so much fun!" I was telling her, she's like, "Just do it." You yeah. Know? So <laughs> but it's, it's literally also, half and half. But also. It's still our show. If we like it, yeah. we could do it. It is. It's and it, the it's, opinions. It's our show, but we share it with yeah. everybody. That is true. You know, so yeah. it's it's everybody's show. It's I everybody's think it could show. be valuable. I think you could talk about situations that other people might find themselves in, and yeah. maybe not mention names. I think when but that's done... just the <laughs> juicy <laughs> part of it. Good you part. Know? You want to so, be messy. Yeah. I do. I do. So. <laughs> Because I'm like, you know, yeah. and I do. I think it's funny. So for all of y'all listening, stay tuned. Yeah. Hit me up. Let me know what Keep y'all think we should do. Yes, and um, you know, we 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 got one with Ashley, really good, really Ashley, juicy. Go ahead. And I do have some juicy stuff that I would love to share, but we'll we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe well, next time. Yeah. yeah. So y'all keep everyone, listening in. thank you. Thank you Jen so and much. Taylor, we enjoyed it so much. Thank you for having us. Yes. And everyone, make your appointment. I learned a lot. Book, Y'all are a world of knowledge. Yes. Oh, I am booked. Impressive. Booked, booked. Lemon Avenue, plastic surgery. Yes. Jen and Taylor. And thank you for listening. Thank everyone. you so much. <clears throat>